Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. How you doing? My name is Akitaro Timi. Today's topic is it's kind of off topic, if I should put it that way. Uh, this channel is predominantly a photography channel for weddings and wedding photography and all that good stuff. But um, today's topic is something that I feel I should discuss and we all should be um, aware of, if we're not already aware of anyway. Um, but this one pertains to me because I'm putting myself out there and I'm taking um, necessary precautions and measures so that, you know, you out there don't get infected and I also don't get infected eventually. <sighs> this 2020 needs a hard reset, like a proper hard reset. I remember growing up when you, when like an appliance is faulty, like a TV or something, and you've tried every possible way to fix it and it doesn't work, just go to the back and yank, yank out the wires and you're good. It just feels like we need that kind of hard reset. And all those people always saying, I can't wait for the new year. I hope you're happy because this is what you caused, literally. This year started for me on a very good note and I'm so grateful to God and I'm still grateful to God. I'm still alive. I mean, compared to those who have died, I'm still alive. So that's a good thing to always be grateful to God for. Um, however, 2020 started with the Kobe thing, which is kind of like sad. And then um, obviously now this coronavirus or COVID-19, if I want to sound very, very learned, I guess, uh, <laughs> COVID-19. Um, this year, I was so happy because I was able to get like destination weddings and I love destination weddings. They're my favorite type of weddings. Uh, well, I love every, every wedding. I mean, I'll go and cover myself. Um, uh, you know, I have all stuff lined up, but then this happens, I mean, of all times. It's not like it's a better time for it to happen, but ugh, what are the odds? So currently I've had uh, work in the United States and yes, I know there have been cases in the States, but the States is big guys, it's very huge, um, um, but still, I was in New York and uh, I left before there was any confirmed case. So that's a good thing. And I've spent the past 14 days since I left New York. So I'm good. Um, I was in Houston and I was in Austin. I uh, took precautionary measures, you know, always with my um, hand wash. Actually, it wasn't hand wash now. Yeah. The, and yo, I've been hearing that they're like fake stuff out there, man. You need to get one with like at least 70% alcohol. Okay. And with my mask. When I was flying, it was just... Oh, everything is just so weird, man. Everything's so weird. I'm currently in Istanbul now, and um, I feel so bad. I feel kind of sad for my lovely, lovely couple. At the moment, this wedding is just the bride, the groom, me, and the bride's dad. That's it. Because everybody cannot come anymore, and and you can't really blame them. You get some had to cancel, some um, um, are worried that if they come, they can't go back to the states or where they're coming from. You know, borders are being closed, uh, airlines are canceling tickets. It is a madhouse. At this point, we're kind of urging the local vendors to come as guests. Oh. <sighs> One of my couples for April, they've moved their wedding. Yo, like, if you don't have savings, man, you're screwed because it's going to be crazy. And we don't have a timeline. That's the annoying thing. We don't have a timeline. We don't know how long this will last for. And I know when I get back to Lagos, I have to quarantine myself. But the question is, do I want to come back to Lagos? When you think about quarantine and isolation in Lagos, I don't think it's rosy. It's not rosy anywhere, but not to mention in Lagos. <laughs> What if Nepal is on quarantine? What if there's no light? You know, like there's so many things that could go wrong. People will start stocking up fuel and jerry cans in their houses and there could be like explosions and stuff like that. I heard people already panic buying. Shop right, Ebano. Oh gosh. We're all gonna be affected. That's the thing. Uh I've been one of those really kind of selfish people who not that I'm not aware about what is happening in the world, but if it doesn't directly concern me, I don't really like get perturbed. Uh, but this one is different. This one, everybody, forget wherever you are, okay, everybody, um, the sports industry, um, everything, and like everything trickles down. The wedding industry, like I can't imagine how much people are losing. You know, the Nigerians always say like it's as well. I, I mean, what more can I say, right? It is well. So guys, man, just social distancing. That thing is serious. Like, don't be going out anyhow anymore. And I really wish like Nigerians could start making people start working from home. Okay. Um, because we're not equipped. Let's be honest. We cannot handle this thing. Like we can't, like we don't have that many test kits. We don't have, uh, uh a lot of hospitals with the, with the right equipment. We don't even have the mentality. That's the biggest part. 
can imagine going there and then nurses are like, ah, my for me, my fekoro. You know, and some, oh gosh, I'm not even ready, man. But whatever the case is, if I come back, if I come back to Nigeria, um, I'm definitely going to quarantine myself for 14 days. So um, wish me good luck. And if you're out there and you're not in the country or you've been with someone who has come back, please quarantine yourself. Please. Just, you're not exactly just doing it for yourself. That's the biggest misconception. You're doing it for many other people, right? Because if you beat it, doesn't mean the person that has gotten it from you will beat it. Do you get it? So we all need to come together, man. I don't know. Oh, to sue me. Oh, to sue me. I'm tired. I'm just tired. But it's all good. Hopefully one day I would um, come back with a different video saying, hey guys, remember that time? Do you remember the time I, when I came here to talk about COVID-19? That's the only way I keep myself happy these days. I'm currently in isolation. Well, I won't say isolation, but I'm just by myself. Um, yeah, so. It will be, man. Go D. Last, last. It'll be all right. Be safe out there.